Hey guys, this is Kate Kennedy here for the Blitzy Creative Team, and I'm going to create a layout today using this awesome stencil from the Crafters Workshop, and it's called The Story. I'm also going to use this golden um, acrylic, heavy, a heavy acrylic, heavy body acrylic paint, it's a tongue twister, and some American Crafts cardstock. So um, I really like to create bold graphic backgrounds, and there's tons of different ways you can do this. Tons of different techniques, some are more complicated than others. This is by far the easiest because this stencil does all the work for you. I love that it has the different combinations of things. In other words, it has things that look like paint splatter, it has an arrow, it has a little scallopy thing, it even has some words and some numbers. I am actually going to use some washi tape to cover those up because I don't want them on to distract like from the title and stuff I just don't want them on this layout so if there's parts or sections of the stencil that you don't want you can just cover it with washi tape or post-it tape or whatever you have on hand or a piece of paper but um, it just you're gonna see when this is done it's it's all you need it creates this really cool background you can use all different mediums with a stencil I like to use this golden heavy body acrylic paint because it's thicker than regular acrylic paint and it just does a really good job. I found with these kind of intricate stencils that it applies the best when you go in the direction of whatever the pattern is. So for instance, that arrow at the top was kind of vertical, so I applied it like in a vertical way. And then when there's lines that are horizontal, I kind of run my um, little, what are those things called? Spatula thing there. Um, in a horizontal way, if that makes it keeps it from sliding underneath the stencil. That's the reason why I have all the washi tape around the edge is to keep the stencil really secure to the paper so that it doesn't move at all. Because if it moves, it's going to the paint is going to seep underneath, especially with a stencil this intricate. The heavier bodied medium you use, the less likelihood of that. I would say this is kind of like on the spectrum of things like a a medium ish embossing paste being like the most heavy bodied and like regular acrylic paint being the least so if you wanted to do this and make sure it was super clean and crisp then I would use some black embossing paste or texture paste I just didn't have any and if if I mixed it, it would have ended up gray and I wanted this to be black and super bold so as you can see I finished applying it and I'm just taking it off and I have one little spot that kind of ran a little bit but it, I mean I think it totally goes with the look because it's kind of messy and just really really cool I love the way that it looks so I'm, I have set it aside to dry and of course now it's dry so I'm gonna take my picture and it's just a picture of our pool on a day that we were hanging out by the pool and I'm using some of this Amy Tangerine Rise and Shine collection I'm also going to be using a paper from the Dear Lizzie Fine and Dandy. I'm using some repositionable adhesive here. Tombow is my favorite repositionable adhesive. Just to hold the picture in place while I cut the mats around it. I just find that that is the easiest thing to do. And that way I can just pull it off and add some permanent adhesive when I'm, when I'm ready to go. So like I said, I'm just layering up some papers. This is going to be a really simple layout because... Like I said, that background does all the work for you. You really don't need a whole lot of embellishment or anything. I decided that I did want to cut it down a little bit and add, like, mount it on a pattern paper. So I'm using this one from the Dear Lizzie Fine and Dandy line. It has really cute flamingos on the other side. If you want to, you could cut the center of the background paper out so that way you could keep it for another project. I just, I forgot to do it this time. I normally do do that, though. So I'm just trying to figure out how I want to orientate this. Um, normally I would like the arrow pointing towards the picture, but that kind of wasn't going to happen with the way that that arrow is. So I'm just going to go with it. And I'm using a piece of this washi tape here from the Dear Lizzie Fine and Dandy line. And just some various embellishments. Like I said, I kept this really simple. I added this little label, but I end up taking it off. Now I'm applying some permanent adhesive to my layers and stuff so that they don't go anywhere and I'm going to end up using a word like a foam word thicker from Amy Tangerine it's one that says seriously and I just love those I think they add a really bold title and it's not like the easiest title to read just because the background is super busy if I wanted it to 
be easier to read than I would put something behind it, just like a, a strip of paper or something. But I really didn't mind. I thought it still turned out pretty cool. So I did add a little bit of glossy accents to the back of my photo just because that paint does have a little bit of dimension and I wanted to make sure that that picture didn't go anywhere. So I'm going to add another word to the title here which is going to be relaxing. So the title will be seriously relaxing. And then I'm going to add just a couple of more embellishments, some enamel dots and a couple of things in the upper left hand corner. And that will be it. So I really hope you have enjoyed this little process video. and. I would love to know how you use your stencils. Um, if you use them for whole backgrounds or just to create part of a background, do you use them on plain cardstock or on pattern paper? There's just so many things you can do with them. So I would love to hear some of y'all's um, thoughts and ideas about, about them. Again, thanks so much for watching, and I will have a list of products on the corresponding blog post and don't forget to check out Blitzy and their everyday section because you can find some really fun stuff there. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye!